Hello and welcome to your E chord bootcamp. Here we're going to take five days to really master E chord. We're going to learn how to position our instrument and our bodies to play the chord. And we're also going to, by day five, learn how to play a song that has a switch in and out of E chord. If this sounds like something that you really want to do, make sure you grab the free printable down below and hit like and subscribe to the channel as it helps this video perform better and thank you. First, let's talk about your instrument positioning because there may be things happening with instrument placement that are setting you up for having a more difficult time with the instrument. So let me move further back and show you what I'm doing. I'm playing a tenor ukulele because I like how the fretboard ends up pretty close and I don't need to hold the instrument this way like I would with a soprano. Can it be done with a soprano? Of course. It's just my personal preference. I like the bigger size. Move sleeves out of the way. Relax shoulders. Good. Okay, I like to leave a little bit of room between the ukulele and me just because that lets those notes really ring. And uh, let's talk about the thumb. The thumb should be on the center of the neck. Some people creep it up here, but when you do that, you really limit how much hand length you have. Look, look, look. If I put the thumb on the back center, back center, look at how much reach I get. That is so much. That is so much more, especially than doing this and choking. The other thing I don't love about choking is that sometimes people bend their wrists and having a bent wrist can set you up for carpal tunnel or irritate carpal tunnel, tunnel or arthritis. And I do not want you getting hurt in the process of playing ukulele, which should bring you more joy. So please, please, please put the thumb in the back. I always have that one student that will not put the thumb in the back and then they end up falling behind on other lessons. And I'm like, please help me help you. So please put the thumb on the back center. I have it between the second and third frets. And now the first thing we're gonna do today is an A minor with a middle finger. If you do it with the index finger, this lesson will do nothing for you. Please do it with the middle finger, second fret of G string. The reason I need that is because today we're just gonna do a switch from A minor to F major seven. We're gonna try and keep the thumb in the same place. But if you need to wiggle a little bit to make it more comfortable, that's okay. It's just having that anchor finger helps quite a bit for the ukulele feeling stable. Make sure that wrist is unbent. If you're way down here, look up, look up. You may be carrying the instrument and bend. Look at, look at how ugly that looks. That is not healthy, that is not good. We want this. And see how like dropping that thumb sets it all up so that it's better and then bringing the ukulele up oh awesome wrist awesome wrist okay so i'm gonna move closer now because you can see my positioning i want you to see my fretboard hand a little better so i'm gonna put my finger kind of closer to the third fret or behind the third fret and i have that a minor and that f major seven f major seven is the fifth frets of g and c strings here, what, what am I training you to do here? I'm training your middle finger to stay on G string when you're sliding between two chords. So we're doing a lot already, even if it does not feel like it. One, we're talking about instrument placement on our bodies. Two, we're talking about the thumb and we're working on the technique of not wiggling the thumb all over the place or having a peeping thumb up here. We do not want that. We want the thumb on the back. We want the straight wrist. We want the relaxed shoulders. We want that A minor, and we want that F major seven. A minor, F major seven. And tomorrow we're gonna add more fingers on the fretboard, but you can already see that the pinky already wants to be there. So it's kind of nice that we've set ourselves up for day two. So if you enjoyed today, please make sure and let me know in the comments how this went. And if you were bending the wrist, because if you were bending the wrist, E chord was never gonna sound good. We need a really nice strong hand for that. And that will actually also set you up for bar chords. So let me know in the comments what day one felt like. 
I'm hoping it feels so easy that you're gonna think, how, how, how did I get to E chord so easily? So come back for day two, I will see you there.